economy a little bit. I'm a resident of Florida. The Florida economy is vibrant. It's on fire. It's doing extremely well. And I watch Governor Newsom in California. I'm looking at 13% state income tax, gas prices through the roof. Horrible, horrible economy. I, I can't imagine why anyone would want to live in that state. No offense, California, anyone from California. Why is your economy better? And which would be better for a 50-state national economy and why? And what's your message to Newsom? Well, obviously, Florida's model would be uh, better. I mean, I think California is there. That's the petri dish of American leftism. They're basically five years ahead of where Biden wants to go. And it may not even be Biden. They may put Newsom or who knows what they'll do. But but California model for the whole country would just accelerate accelerate this country's decline uh, and it will hollow out this country. Florida really shows, you know what, we've got problems, but we can surmount these problems. It can be done. We have one of the lowest tax burdens in the country. Uh, We have paid down 25% of our state's total debt from the inception of statehood to the present. We've paid down 25% just since I've been governor. We've cut taxes every year by a lot. Uh, We have um, uh, spending focusing on things that matter, education, infrastructure, all that. We've got a very good business environment. But there was a huge distinction when COVID hit. Because you had places like California, they kept their theme parks closed and all these businesses closed for a long time. In Florida, we said, you know what? Um, you know, we've got to get moving again. Uh, so, so we reopened the economy. We stuck by that through thick and thin, even though I was taking all kind of incoming from the media, from Fauci, from all these people. That helped really Florida boom. And then I think we've done things like been really strong on law and order. People aren't safe in San Francisco or Los Angeles. I mean, I was out there for the debate, my wife and I, uh, for the Reagan Library debate, and we ran into probably a dozen people that had been mugged in the last year in Southern California. That's not normal, yet that's what it is. So the people that are fleeing to Florida, one of the big things is public safety. The other thing is, is education. We focused on empowering parents. We've got an ideology out of the schools. That attracts families because they're so sensitive about what's going on there. And then I think we've depoliticized our economy by kneecapping things like ESG. So we don't have that in our pension. We took $2 billion away from BlackRock. We banned the use of social credit scores and a central bank digital currency. We don't recognize that in the state of Florida. So people, I think, have confidence that our economy is not going to be overwhelmed with this agenda to use business to impose, basically, a left-wing agenda. Very quickly, I'm sorry. Um, Governor Newsom cleaned up the city of San Francisco in anticipation of President Xi coming to visit. Would you welcome President Xi in Florida? No, we wouldn't do that. I think that um, when you see what happens, he went over to China and groveled to Xi, and then they do all this, like, this San Francisco's a pigsty, but because it's Xi, then they do all this stuff. They actually clean the feces off the sidewalk. They cleaned up some of the drug use, all this stuff. Uh, But it just shows you, um, you know, that's the boss coming in there, that these guys are all genuflected. You saw these CEOs paying $40,000 to be able to sit there and dine with them. They did a standing ovation when he gave a speech. Uh, That's not how I roll with this. I think China is a threat to this country. Uh, I think we need to decouple our economy from China. We rely on China for pharmaceuticals, things involving military equipment, all these things that are key to national survival. We got to go through China. Why would we want to put ourselves in that predicament? So this has happened over many decades. A lot of people on Wall Street made money. There's no question. But it has weakened this country, and it has strengthened an adversary. We were promised that if you, if you uh, do most favored nation and put them in the WTO, that China would become more democratic. It's been the opposite. They're much more authoritarian today than they were 20, 25 years ago. And their military is much stronger today than it was 20, 25 years ago. I want to ask you a a little spend a moment on COVID. No, by the way, just on the China stuff. So not only would we not welcome, I mean, we've already taken action. Uh, We banned China from buying land in the state of Florida. Uh, We kicked out the Confucius Institute from our university because we understand the threat. And so it's not exactly something, you know, I I had one of the, I think it was Haley was like trying to attack because she really invited China in as governor. She was the number one governor to have China invest, including CCP backed businesses. She tried to say like, I was involved. I'm like, wait a minute, Uh, I banned China from buying land. That's not exactly a very good recruiting pitch for businesses if you're not letting them buy land. (laughs) 